This is the Jersey GFS model run at 1 p.m. this afternoon. We have one system kind of moving through the Great Lakes and up into the north and east. We have another system that's over the plains and Intermount West, and that's going to be producing quite a bit of that snow across the Rockies, especially in and around Denver. But it's also producing some showers and thunderstorms just to our south and west, possibly some severe weather once again across Oklahoma and Texas doesn't look to be too widespread at this point but around here we're going to have a bit of a break in the activity with highs today in the 60s or upper 50s to lower 60s I should say and then of course as the weekend gets here of course it then starts to rain some showers maybe a rumble of thunder don't count on it Saturday Sunday looks to be a bit better but it looks to be rather cloudy there could be some drizzle or mist around it looks to be one of those raw days it'll be maybe a few degrees warmer with the chances of rain a bit less with 50s to around 60 and then the rest of the week or as we go into the new work week here on monday of course when everybody goes back to work the sky clears and it's not a lovely day isn't that kind of funny how it works that way but we have the system off the east system over the southern plains nothing around here it's going to be quiet even as we go into tuesday you can see a disturbance coming in from the north and west that's going to sweep across the Great Lakes Tuesday night and into Wednesday. And that's with the northwesterly flow it's going to be kicking in for a few days in the middle of next week. and see a high pressure kind of nosing down. Tuesday night into Wednesday could see a slight chance of a shower in our northeastern counties. It will cool our temperatures off on Wednesday back maybe into the 50s in our eastern and northeastern counties to the low to mid 60s elsewhere. You can see that cold air kind of slowly modifying and taking pretty much quite a bit of the area from about the plains eastward as a ridge sets up over the west. And that ridge is going to slowly move in our direction as we move toward the end of the week. And with the winds turning out of the south, what does that mean? It means the Gulf of Mexico starts to open up as well. And a system is going to be approaching and this could kick off maybe a shower late next Friday. But we'll have to wait and see. It's still more than a week out. And even as we go into the following weekend, which happens to be Mother's Day weekend, it looks to be rather wet. We have one system kind of off across the Great Lakes up into eastern Canada that's dangling a front in our direction. It's kind of looking like it's going to stall because you have this one upper level feature over Hudson Bay and you have another upper level feature over Colorado and the desert southwest. And with these two systems, it's going to be looking like it's going to be fairly active on Mother's Day weekend. Just what you want to be doing another weekend, and it looks dreary and wet. So we're hopeful that this may change, especially given that it's Mother's Day weekend at that point. So we'll keep watching it to see if anything changes in future runs. Satellite image from last evening shows the system over the southern and central plain states back into the Rockies. Showers and thunderstorms out there, along with a couple of... Uh, snow showers and snow activity across the area around Denver and up into the Rockies as well. And the watch warning map, severe thunderstorm watch across the Texas and Oklahoma panhandle at that time. Some flood issues, flood watches across the south and into Texas. Winter weather issues around and just west of Denver as well where they could see several inches of snow. But the QPF chart, here's the precipitation over the next five days. Around here, maybe about a quarter to a half an inch northeast to maybe over an inch in some areas. Heaviest over Nebraska and across Texas into Arkansas and Louisiana. Thank you. 